where cat how y'all doing where cat in the rocking chair once again having a ooh ooh if you didn't see that last video check it out sometimes we all have bad days in the studio hey let's talk about something else let's talk about spending money <laughs> money we don't have on things we don't need oh my god so what do we have here uh, this has nothing to do with really making music. This has to do with going shopping and buying new sounds. Oh, man. You know, if you have a federal job and you haven't even been getting paid the last month, um, I'm sorry. But we're going to talk about money. And you're going to get your money. It's just going to be on the back end. But uh, we're going to talk about what's coming down the line really quick. Uh, by the way, get it now, guys. Hey your disc out tell you what if you're already a user plus the pre-order discount yeah no brainer this is something for look at that all new browser it looks a lot like what uh omnispheres is doing the way they're breaking it all down well it looks like centronic same type interface the way they're kind of filtered out categories down to instruments and stuff like that very cool very cool see the very familiar sites here they have all new samples or a bunch of new samples I don't know about all new samples and they are kind of keeping them under wraps because I saw Jordan Rudis playing a couple of them but they were just very, just kind of nothing, just normal kind of, you could tell they're hiding the good shit for when it comes out. New dynamic guru players. They added an arpeggiator, a new strummer, which ought to work really well with uh, this kind of shit, American guitar. I think they redid American guitar. Yes, these guys are great. You know, Sample Tank 4 is the freaking Swiss army knife. It is how you start any song. And whether I'm going to use it or not, I'm going to use it to flesh out parts. I'm going to use it at some point. Because it just sounds fucking great. It's wonderful to use. And let's move on. So... Looks like this is the browser. Take a look at that. Here you can see they have some drums loaded up. So you just press one of these. One, two, three, six, seven powders, patterns there. And uh, some demos there. sound good let's see this library offers up to 200 gigabytes I think uh, 200 I thought it was 250 here we go right here yeah. sample take max well I'm getting 250 I don't know about you cats anyways uh, sample tank max 250 including 200 gigabytes of all new sounds you heard it 200 gigs of all new sounds so i'm assuming these are more modern sounds updated you got to remember this last sample tank is like what five seven years old now so we have a brand new library offers up to 200 gigabytes of brand new content including exclusive high quality recordings of concert pianos keyboards basses guitars drums strings brass synths, vocals, percussions, and more. Over 90,000 samples in total, all with articulations. Did you hear that? All. Hmm. Look at that word. Used to be like some. All with articulations and round robins. That's awesome. Very cool. 
Thanks to Samplethanks for efficient distributing engine. These sounds will all load faster than ever and perform like and never before. Exciting. So there you got some pricing. We'll give you 100 gigabytes half price. Anyways, I would just, where's the, uh, yeah, there's more screens here. You should just buy the whole thing. Anyways, this is the uh, editing section that they've uh, completely freaking streamlined here. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Low pass, high pass, bypass, no. <laughs> um, pretty self-explanatory. LFO, one, la 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 la. 16 filters, oscillators, portmento. And this is cool. Now, this wasn't here before. These are, this is new stuff. This is, uh, there are Pregiator Strummer. Razor Loop Manager. Interesting. Hope the loops work better than the other ones. They were kind of weird. I didn't work a lot with Sample Tank Forest loops, but you saw what was going on with the uh, the PERT. How it's just weird. It's almost like you want to bounce them off first and use them all as like individual little audio clips, but that would just be tedious and freaking a pain in the ass. I don't know. Very cool, though. I love arpeggiators. I hope it has a ton of presets. Oh, so I see. So you just, there's your arpeggiator, and then you got your loop player. Interesting. And here we have our mixing station. And they finally put the mute and the solo in the right spot so I can see them. Not that they weren't right in front of my face before, but they were like weird, like right here. And for about one hour, I thought there was no mute and solo on their mixer. And then I told myself, that is insane. Every mixer has a mute and a solo. Go back and look again. Yeah, they're like, they blend in. So thank God this has a more traditional look to it. And you got all your inserts. Has a nice black look to it. I like that. Look at that. So if you click on a insert, boom, the whole insert just pops up. Bang, bang. Nice. And these effects, of course, are from none other than T-Rex. You got all kinds of shit. Yeah. That's 13 new effects for a total of 70. You've never heard effects like these in the virtual instrument. Derived from amplitude, T-Rex, wonderful. Unbelievably realistic tube saturation to classic analog pedals. Look at all the fun, fun, fun. Mm. It's coming, folks. Yeah, they're putting out a bunch of hardware, too. And then you have your live setup if you were going to play live. So you got your uh, multis and stuff, and you can just pow. Da 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 So yeah. <laughs>
So on the way, so whatever. Thanks for hanging out in the rocking chair with the Wirecat one more time. See you guys later.